This is Twit. Did you love uh, inspiration for uh, first time ever for civilians, space tourists, some called them, went into orbit around uh, the Earth thanks to SpaceX. Jared Isaacson, who is a billionaire, created a credit card payment system called Shift4, publicly held company, spent, we don't know how much, something like $50 million for mm -hmm. the ride, then gave the other three seats in various ways uh, to members of the public. One of them is a physician's assistant who works at St. Jude's. This is all a benefit for St. Jude's. In fact, they've raised, thanks to Elon Musk's uh, last-minute contribution of $50 million, they've raised $200 million for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Um, one of the ast astronauts, space tourists, uh, is a 29-year-old physician's assistant. Uh, there's also a guy who, who, who contributed some money during the Super Bowl ad and won, in the, won the golden ticket. Uh, there's also a... Uh, 52-year-old African-American woman who wanted to go into space, was rejected by NASA, but is now uh, now is a three, orb three days worth of orbits uh, astronaut. I guess you can call yourself an astronaut. In fact, it's the closest anybody's been to the moon, the farthest away that anybody's been to Earth since the 70s. Their orbit was even a little bit higher than the International Space Station. I had to say I, I, I yeah. loved it. I watched the uh, launch I watched the Netflix documentary. I watched the landing last night. I was very relieved when they splashed down on Saturday night. Um, those parachutes opened. They've been that's been tricky. It's not. It is not. You know, it's risky business. Not easy. Not yeah. easy. But they did it. Congratulations, a, a, a billionaire. It sounded a little bit like Gilligan's Island. A physician's <laughs> assistant, a community college professor, <laughs> and a data engineer. <laughs> Uh, the stuck first in space, stuck in yeah. space, a uh, three day orbit cruise. I don't know. I don't know what the song goes, <laughs> but uh, no, it's really great. They did it. They did it safely. Is it inspiring? More so than the Richard Branson. I Jeff agree. Thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Billion. Absolutely. It still takes billionaires to go to space, but at least uh, some of them were not billionaires. And instead yeah. of just going up and down, they actually orbited the earth. Mm -hmm. So it, and, it and seemed like it proved pros. something useful. Yeah. None of them were yep. pros. No pilot. Uh, I mean, Jared Isaacson has 6,000 hours uh, uh, flight hours, so he's not a complete amateur. In fact, he flies fighter planes. He bought a fleet of fighter planes for his own uh, uh, f uh, flight demo, you know, Blue Angels-style flight <laughs> show. Maybe maybe we should wonder why billionaires are doing that. Uh, I don't know. We're millionaires. <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't need so many billionaires, but, you know. Maybe. Maybe we don't. It's uh, it's funny. I've been watching, uh, catching up on For for All Mankind, the Apple TV Plus show, which mm. I started originally and just, like, fell off. It turns out it's a very good show, but you got to watch until, like, episode three uh, to really understand what it's doing. But, man, does that show make it really clear that we... We just like gave up on space, didn't yeah. we? We just didn't yeah. try hard enough, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, look where we are. Yeah. Well, we're you know it's interesting because I mean NASA is still around and still involved, but the commercial space uh, companies, chiefly SpaceX, but also Blue Origin, um, are actually making progress. SpaceX is making amazing progress. It's Elon Musk is such an interesting character because on the one hand he's nutso, and on the other hand he's doing this. And he, he's yeah. like, he's doing it right. He's that capsule is b both the capsule and the launch uh, rockets were reused. They're, you know, pre-owned. Uh, but but he got them back. He cleaned them up. In fact, they're going to go up again. This is a huge. I mean, we were throwing away two billion dollar Saturn V rockets every time we launched. Yeah, yeah. The fact that he doesn't care what we think and he does these pretty wild out there things is the reason that he can also achieve some of these unprecedented kind of things too, right? It's it's like our best quality, worst quality. All of us have that, you know, often our, our best quality is also our worst quality yeah. too. Yeah. I think that what, this is one of those things, I think 20 years we do look back and say like 2021 was the moment where we started with this thing with average people going up to space and where these private commercial um, space agencies started doing things that are 
uh, you know, essentially pushing humanity forward in some ways that captivated people's imagination. I, I think we are going to look back at this pretty favorably, you know, a decade or two from now.